ladies, let me fill you in on something because a lot of y'all either on the verge of losing a good man, have lost a good man, or or, or listen, he about to be out the door, right? And and it's because you 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 accuse him of so much. You accuse him of cheating. You accuse him of entertaining people. You accuse him of stepping out. Do you know this man is at work? Do you know this man is really spending time with the boys? Do you know this man is really taking the long way home because he don't want to have to come home and deal with your shit and listen to your crap? Ladies, learn how to get yourself a hobby. Learn how to shut your mouth sometime. Learn how to make sure that your spirit and, and, and your thoughts are intact. Make sure your mindset is intact how about you figure out what these what these next business ventures are figure out how you can expand on your and his portfolio like it's ridiculous ladies you guys sit up here and be talking about this man is cheating and he's entertaining other women and literally all he is out doing is getting a peace of mind or providing for your ass go get the fuck out y'all literally be worried about the wrong thing you want to know why he can't text you all day at work Girl, first of all, he's working. Why don't you have a hobby? Did you even make sure that he made it to work? Did you make him a lunch to even take to work? Y'all be worried about the wrong thing. You want him to sit up there and be on the phone texting you at work. You jeopardizing his, you jeopardizing his job. You sit up there and be causing scenes on his job. Girl, get a fucking hobby. Learn how to take care of your man. Make him some lunch. Make sure he actually made it to work. You think everything's about you. You so you got your patties up in a bunch when he don't check on you and check and see if you made it home. Check and see if you ate. But yet, you don't even check on him. You ain't made him lunch. You don't cook. What do you do for him that he can't do for himself? Fuck out of here. <laughs> Y'all know what's funny as fuck? Some of you bitches are gonna be stuck with toys forever because you don't know how to deal with a real man. <laughs> Just say this to you ladies out there that sit up here and you tear your man down in front of people. And not only that, what you do is you sit up there and you paint a bad picture of him. You magnify the things that you feel like he may not have done, but all the good that he's done, you stuff that down. So how is it that you can put all everything bad that he's done up here but every single good thing is down here and what happens is you sit up here you talk bad about him and you degrade him in front of people and then you come behind his back and act like you haven't said nothing but then he knows how you have spoken about him because of the way the people end up treating him some of y'all don't know when to shut the fuck up but not only that you do, you when 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 he needs you to speak up for him you don't do that either what happens is the people around you will paint a picture based off of their own assumptions or what they think he is when in reality he's something totally different than that but you have not spoken up in a positive manner on his behalf therefore the people around you think and speak negatively about him based on the shit that you've said about him Since you claim to be so smart and well-balanced and healed and thriving and all that, why don't you let that man see his kids? If you're so emotionally and psychologically uh, well and mentally well and stable, why don't you let that man see his kids? Keep his kids away from him. What's your purpose of keeping his kids away from him? If there is no physical threat to them kids, why are you keeping his kids away from him? You don't have communication skills. You don't have no balance to where you can actually communicate with him. So that way y'all can work something out so he can see his children. This man is suffering. He's going through shit every single day simply based on the fact that you done took his kids away from him is killing him but yet you claim to have so much balance and so much peace in your life if you had that much peace you would be woman enough to speak up you would be woman enough to communicate properly you would be woman enough to make sure that he has a relationship with his children so that he's not suffering and that those kids aren't suffering so make it make sense we need answers fuck out of here i wanted to talk to y'all today about taking care of yourself mentally and emotionally and psychologically in the last 24 hours i have had four guy friends reach out to me and tell me that they're ready to end it all like as much as people want to keep going there is something that is in them that still has those thoughts right and so you have to realize that 
during this time, like a lot of men are going through it. Yes, a lot of people are going through it, but a lot of men are going through it during this time. And what I'm noticing is that the women in their lives are not showing up for them. What I'm noticing is that the women in their lives are actually making it worse. What I'm noticing is that the women in their lives aren't holding up their end of the deal. They want you guys to show up for them emotionally. They want you guys to show up when you're when they're anxious and depressed. They want you guys to show up when 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 finances are at stake. They want you guys to show up every day and make sure your career, your your job happens so that way you can get enough money to pay the bills or splurge on her, or take trips or mind whatever she needs. But when it comes to you guys needing the emotional support, ladies, you guys are dropping the ball. You guys are dropping the ball. And all these men have women in their lives, but yet the women are actually making things worse. They're actually, basically they're putting the last nail in his coffin without putting the last nail in his coffin and not even knowing it. What if they didn't have me to come to? What if they didn't have the emo the inner emotional strength or the the inner uh, psychological uh, capa a higher psychological capacity in order to keep themselves here? Ladies, you have to understand. Check in on him. F figure out, find out how he's doing. Make sure that you're holding up your end of the deal when it comes to his mental wellness. It's not that he needs you to be his peace. I already told y'all about that. But add some peace to him. Check on him. Make sure he made it to work. Make sure he made it to his destination. Make sure he ate. Make sure he uh, uh, drank water for the day. Make sure he's hydrated. Stop always thinking that it's about you. You 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 think so much is about you, and then all of a sudden he didn't offed himself. Like y'all y'all really don't get it, ladies. You think I'm here to bash you? I'm here to encourage you and help you. The delivery may not be like how you want it to, but I'm telling you, day after day after day, I keep men alive. I encourage men. I support men. I uplift men. Yes, I'm silly. Yes, I'm funny. Yes, I tell jokes. Yes, I talk about physical intimacy. Yes, I talk about... <sighs> but at the end of the day, you guys have to realize, like, what I'm doing is encouraging. What I'm doing is supporting. And these men, they sit back and they want the person in their lives to take them seriously. They want the person in their lives to see them as important. And ladies, you have to understand, I wasn't always this way. I had to do my work. I had to dig that shit out. I went through stuff as a kid, just like you. I went through stuff when I was an adolescent, just like you. I went through things from a previous partner, just like you. I was married for almost 25 years. I can't tell you how much violence happened in that. And I don't even call it a relationship anymore because it wasn't a relationship. If, if, if all that other stuff was going on, like, but I had to, I had to look inside myself and figure out, oh, well, even though it didn't work out how I wanted it to, I still had a part in it. I still acted out when I was in that marriage, right? I still acted out in ways that I was that I am not proud of. And it's due to the fact that uh, I went through stuff as a child. I did not have my father. My father was my father was offed. OK, my mother was out of the home. So, ladies, you have to realize you can't make excuses. You cannot make excuses for yourself, ladies. Stop making excuses. Oh, well, my mom did somebody. So what? It's it's not about that. It's about you being an adult and doing your actual work right now to change things for the better for yourself. That way you don't sit up there and make him off himself by being immature, by belittling him, by being degrading, by abusing him, by using him. Step into your big girl panties. Step into your big girl shoes. Step into your big girl era. Since you guys always want to talk about soft girl era, how about you step into your maturity era? How about you step into your womanhood era? Fuck out of here. See, this would be the kicker right here, though. All the time you be saying crazy stuff to him, off the wall stuff to him. You degrade him, you belittle him, you point the finger, you blame him for everything. But yet, when he calls you out on your shit, you act like you don't know what the hell happened. Oh my gosh, like where's this coming from? I don't know what you're talking about. No, you know what you're saying. You know what you did. You know exactly what you're doing, but what happens is your narcissistic ass likes to play victim. You like to play victim and you act like you don't know what the hell just happened, but you've been doing this all along. You've been doing this. It's a cycle. It's a cycle. It's a cycle. But when he calls you out on it, you ass act like you got amnesia. 
Stop treating him like shit. If you want to be with him, then be with him. If not, then let somebody else have him. Because listen, he don't have to stay there. He stayed there because he cares about you. He stayed there because he loves you. He stayed there because he's invested time and effort and energy into you. But I'm telling you right now, keep on trying to treat that man like he don't know what the fuck is going on. Keep on trying to treat him like he don't matter. Keep on trying to treat him like he's not important. He going to be gone. So let me get this straight. He's good enough. <laughs> he's good enough to submit your body to, but he's not good enough to submit to his leadership. <laughs> I don't know who needs to hear this, but if you don't walk away from her, she's going to be your downfall. You done gave her grace. You done gave her space. You done gave her time to fix things. But yet she still treats you the same way. She still talks to you disrespectfully. She's still rude. She's still adamant about tearing you down day by day. If you do not walk away from her, she will be your downfall. Mentally, spiritually, uh, career-wise. Watch my words. If you don't walk away, she will be your downfall. I want to know where are all the ladies that want to date men to get to know them where are all the ladies that want to go deeper with the man instead of deeper into his pockets where are all the ladies that actually want to get to know a man before she knows anything about his finances where are all the real women at that actually want to get to know a man instead of getting to know his pockets and his bank account and his choice of uh, in career where are all the good women at like I'm serious like because it, it, it's like you guys want people to pay you to DM you you guys want you guys want men to pay you to DM you 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 guys want men to pay you to date you you guys want men to pay your bills before they take you out you guys want men to take care of your babysitter when they take you out what are you doing to get to know the man other than the fact uh, that you want to know his pockets and want to know his bank account where y'all at fuck out of here I have a question. If that man is so bad, if you claim that he's flirting, if you claim that he's not doing what you need him to do or want him to do, if you claim that he does all these horrible things to you, he tears you down, he talks to other women, he stays out all night of that. If he's doing all these things to you, why do you stay? Why are you still with him? You complain to your coworkers, you complain to your family members, you complain to anybody that will listen about all these things that this man is doing to you and saying to you, but yet your ass still stay there. Why are you there? Got it. Who said that? So just because a man has good then you're going to submit yourself to him, but yet you won't submit to his leadership, but yet you're saying that you'll trust your body to him and in your spirit to him, but yet he's not good enough to, to trust his leadership. Who said that just because he has good, that he has good leadership? Nobody said that. You want to go live? I'm about to go live in a little while. You want to and let me just say this. The only reason why she's mad at you is because you dismissed yourself from the bullshit. She sent up here, oh, I want another chance. Oh, well, I, and then what happened was you didn't give her another chance and now she's mad. You done dismissed yourself from the bullshit. So now where else is she going to put her bullshit? She done sat up there and treated everybody else in her life like shit. The last person she had left to destroy her was you. And now that you done finally woke your ass up and walked away, her ass is miserable because she ain't got nobody else to put that shit on. So there she sits and, and, and wallows in all her bullshit until she deals with it. Don't you dare let her back in. Don't you dare let her back in. She done destroyed enough of your life.